So it just says B over there. Okay, um, so um, perpendicular bisectors are triangles. Every triangle has three different perpendicular bisectors. Perpendicular bisectors start at the side and go in toward the middle of the triangle. So I'm going to draw you one real quick here. you got to get right and quick because you've got a lot of stuff to do. So I'm going to draw you one real quick just so you guys can see it. So if I have a triangle like this, all right, every single one of these sides has a perpendicular bisector. If you think about it, if I draw, if I put a dot where the middle of those lines are, that would be the dot that bisects those lines. What, what does bisect mean? It doesn't mean go through. It means go through and do what to it? It cuts it into what? Cuts it into exact equal halves, right? Or equal parts. So we know that that part would equal this part. This part would equal this part. That part would equal that part. Now, that's just called a bisector. What? So that's what cause. That's what a bisector is. Bisector. Bisectors cut lines in half. A perpendicular bisector is a line. So if we look at this one right here, would be a line that comes through it perpendicularly, like this. Okay. So if we have this one right here, it'd be like this, this one right here. Those would be called perpendicular bisectors. Now, no, not yet. So now if we think about this, everyone look at me real quick. Those lines are perpendicular bisectors. Okay, Lines that bisect a line perpendicularly are perpendicular bisectors. This dot right here where all three of these things cross is called the circumcenter. So where all three perpendicular bisectors cross is called the circumcenter. So I'm going to let you guys copy down the page a little bit for the circumcenter here. Nope, just said one, but I want this whole thing copied down, that whole box. Go for it. Got another minute.
Good. These? These? Oh, P, P, A, P, and C, P. What that means? It's just different colors because those are the vertices lines. Those are the lines that are congruent. These ones? So what are F, P, D, P, and E, P? Perpendicular. Daxton? You said, you didn't say P, B. Everyone else heard it. Everyone. I didn't, I didn't say it, though. It is P, B. Sophie's not laughing. She's laughing at you. No. Yes, she is. Yeah, Jordan heard it too. Yeah, I'm funny. I'm not the only one. I said DP. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Everyone else heard it. You guys are never going to make it through this chapter. Everyone heard it. Okay. All right, so let's go over a couple of these. So today we're going to learn how to solve these triangles. And it's important you guys heard me just barely. We got, well, you have to learn how to solve these triangles. So, for example, um, on that, in that one we just barely did. Let me pull it open here. On this triangle we just barely did. I'm going to draw you guys the triangle you guys should have drawn so you guys can have it inside your journal if you're not done. So this is what your triangle looks like. So this is A, B, C. We have. Okay. This is F. This is E. Hey, you already have this because you guys should have copied the triangle. Okay. These things are called the perpendicular bisectors. Perpendicular bisectors extend perpendicularly away from sides. So remember, this is circumcenter. Okay, and what that means is it cuts. Which one did it do here? This is three, three. Okay, so this is a really great question. You're going to get to it. We're going to talk a lot, of, a lot about different centers of a triangle. Every center can take place. It's just kind of the name that they give to it. Technically, it's called the center of a triangle, but it has different. We're going to talk about this one. We're going to talk about any center. This one can actually happen outside of the triangle. So on the, the one I just probably drew, you guys look at that one. Where does that one, where do all three cross? Outside of the triangle, but it's still called, because the, the definition, even though it's called circumcenter, what it is is where the three perpendicular bisectors cross. And what you have to know about it is as follows. That it bisects the line. The last thing you have to know, and this is where it is most important, 
the lines from the vertex to the circumcenter. So the lines, and if you want to write this, lines, which it is written, it just doesn't make much sense the way they wrote it. Lines from vertex to circumcenter are equal or congruent. Vertexes are A, B, and C. So the lines from the vertex to the circumcenter are congruent. Okay? That's what it... Right now, that's the most important thing you guys got to know right now. So if I pull up one of the... We're going to go over a couple of these problems today. But what that means is that they labeled this P, right? So that means that BP is the same as AP is the same as CP okay and you're gonna you're gonna find out a lot of times they'll label the middle of the middle of the triangle middle of the circle P I don't know why they just tend to do it so um, any questions on that now this is important you have to be able to identify first that this is a circumcenter problem and then you have to know okay if it's circumcenter that's extremely important Okay, vertex to the circumcenters are all the same. These lines are not the same. So like E, F, P, D, P, and E, P are not the same. Okay, but vertex to the circumcenter are. Now what kind of triangles do the, are all these? Everyone recognize that those are all right triangles. Okay, because if this is perpendicular, it's going to make a right angle. That's going to be important for what's coming next. So we're going to go, I'm going to do a problem off your homework today. I want this one written down. So let's go. This is A, B, C. E is that perpendicular. D is that one. F that one. And this is G in the middle. The things they're going to tell us is they tell us EG is 40, AF is 56, and AG is 58. The things they want us to find are AB, BE, and C. G. It's what they told us. Okay, so let's start going through this and think about this is circumcenter, right? So let's start going through everything we know. They tell us that EG is 40. Does that help us know anything else right off the bat? No, because FG is not the same as EG, DG is not. AF is 56. Okay, so it does help us. If this is 56, what's BF? 56. How do I know that? It's a perpendicular bisector. So look at this one. Can we get AB already? Yeah. AB is going to be 112 because A to B is that entire line. If they tell us that AF is 56, this is a bisector, so this also has to be the same as this, right? Okay, so we got, we got, right now we have that. 
Okay, let's keep going. AG is 58. So if AG is 58, what's BG? Think about it. From the vertex to the circumcenter are all the same. So do we know what CG is? Yes, sir. 58. Okay, but what, which one are we looking for? BE. So we're looking for that, and I'm going to label it X. Okay. Someone other than Andy? Steve, I'll even take you. <laughs> How can I solve for X there? <laughs> Max? <laughs> so look right here. What kind of triangle is this? <laughs> pay attention, pay attention. You're going to have to do this today. This is a right triangle. So if we take that and we move it over here, we know that this is 40, that's 58, and we're looking for that. So Max drilled it. What's it called, Max? The Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so. So you can do it like that, or we can just go x squared plus 40. The hypotenuse is always, see, the hypotenuse is opposite the right angle. So a squared plus b squared equals, okay, I need help on your calculators, go. Forty-six. Forty-two. So we know that B is forty-two by solving those. Now, if you're unsure to do that, you would first square these, subtract forty squared to both sides, and then square with the answer. Okay? And we know that X is going to be forty-two, so B E is in fact 42. Okay, we're going to do another one off your homework. Stop talking. Okay. <laughs> Don't need to know. They didn't ask for it. Should have been writing. B E F X Z Y Because I go fast. Yeah, I would. Okay, get that one written down quickly. Come on. W is the middle. Okay, so these are the things they tell us. YW is 24. DE, so it's saying this entire line is 128. And FW is 74. All right, so that's all the information they give to us. But based upon that information, we can find a lot of other information, right? Based upon this theorem, this circumcenter theorem. 
the first thing I'm going to do, if FW is 34, I know DW and EW are the same. Because from every vertice to the circumcenter, they're all the same. So 74 and 74, does that give us an answer? Vertex to the circumcenter are all the same. So they tell us FW is 74. So DW has to be 74 and EW has to be 74. That's part of the theorem we did. Okay, that's the first thing they tell us. The other information, they tell us this whole side is 128. So what would DZ be? Okay, how do you know that though? So they tell us, look over here, they tell us that DE is 128. They tell us this entire line right here is 128. If we know that that's 128 and we know that this line is bisected, so we can divide it by 2 to figure out what each side length is. So we know that ZE is 64. Now it's EY. Yeah, so every single one of the circumcenter ones, you're going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem. Every one of them. EY is right here. E to Y. And we don't know it. But we know that this is a triangle, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that triangle and I'm going to move it out to there. I know that this is 24. I know that's 74. And I'm looking for that. And that's going to give me EY right here. So what is X equal? So you set it up. X squared equals 24 squared equals 74 squared. And you go through. You solve that. This is A and B. It doesn't matter. And that's all we see. Hypotenuse is all we see. The other two, it doesn't matter. So X squared, we get X equals 70 is EY. Okay, any questions so far? Okay, I want you guys to try it on your own. Just see where we're at. And if we can get a good amount done or close to it. 70. Okay, I just want, we're going to see where everyone gets to on this one. And then we can make a decision what we do next. This is T U V A B C Okay, the stuff they tell us C D equals fifty four. UV equals 148, and UD equals 90. The stuff they want us to find is BV, VD, and TC. Let's see if we can get it. Go for it. That's a C.
Of course. They have to add up to be 180, right? All right, let's start off at the top. BV. Um, who else helped me solve for BV? Tyson, how do I know what BV is? So we're going from here. Can you get 74? Yeah. So we know that BV is going to be 74. Who got BV right? Raise your hand. Wait, tell me how you did that again. If this whole line's 148, each one of those are half of 148. Okay, um, VD, so we're looking for right here. Who, uh, Logan, how do I get VD? VD, yep. Okay, we don't care about that for this one. This is the one that matters. So if that yeah, so if UD is 90, then VD is 90 and TD is 90. Okay, so that one's done. It's 90. That's part of the theorem we talked about. From the vertices to the circumcenter are all the same. So they tell us UD is 90. Right off the bat, I know the other two have to be 90. So TD, VD, and UD are all the same. Okay. And TC is the one I don't know, right? The one I just can't look at and get the answer. This is the one we have to use the Pythagorean theorem. So we're going to go 54 squared plus x squared equals 90 squared. 64. Nope, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Hold on. No, that doesn't work. So it's got to be... 42. What is it? What is it? Okay, there you go. Jackson. This is it. But in order, Jackson, in order to get that, this is, but perpendicular bisector is the same thing as the circumcenter because the, we're the three Perpendicular bisectors intersect is the circumcenter. So look, Jackson, we don't know what this is, right? Jackson, we don't know what that is, so we can't get this one. Right? Not necessarily. Don't trust the picture. Trust your math. The other thing that this thing says, George Jackson, is that TD, UD, and VD are the same. That they make six individual right angles, and each individual right angle can be differently. Because they are. Every single one of those measurements, these are all going to be different. Because these are all different. Who got them all three right? Raise your hand. Jackson, did you get it? Okay, here's the deal. Andy, listen, because this is going to come important to you. Here's the deal. I'm going to sign your homework. It's three problems. I will only help you, or Andy will only help you, if you have the complete picture drawn and appropriately labeled. They have to, like, this, this information has to be on it. Don't help them unless the picture's drawn that they have and that. Okay, go for it. Three problems. Six dash. It's seven one. I know it changed. 
like log in at the top, but it's like because you just have to keep the crowd pressing in, and I have to like press the log in. No. No. You want to stop your recording? Yeah. Dex, will you hit stop? <laughs>